In today's video, I want to show you guys how to clean up old fish aquarium glass and show you guys how to remove mineral buildup, water stains, and calcium buildup. This is a super common issue with older fish aquariums that have been running for years upon years. And especially if you buy a used tank, it's a great way to save a lot of money. And as you can tell, this tank that we're going to be cleaning today has a ton of mineral buildup. But yeah, let's just jump right into this help guide on how to remove this stuff from your old fish aquarium. I bought this one used and I'm really looking forward to cleaning this up. So what we'll start with are some flat razor blades. These things are also called box blades, trim blades. I don't care what kind of blade you want to call them. Um, the, the reason we're using this is because they're like a flat design and they work tremendously good on cleaning glass. I will forewarn you guys, these things are extremely sharp, so be very careful. They're super thin, and that's why they work great for this. So we'll bring them over to the aquarium, and what I tend to do is I try to work from the top of the aquarium all the way down. That way, as things fall, it can kind of fall into the fish tank. So what we're going to do is just start scraping this stuff away. Um, this isn't rocket science, but we're going to be using this blade to kind of just pick away at this stuff. When you start scraping away at the trim piece on your aquarium with the blade, try to make sure that you don't go too deep with the razor blade. The happy medium is kind of finding that in between, between scraping off the buildup while also not digging super far into the plastic trim of the aquarium. Depending on how bad the calcium and mineral buildup is will depend on how much time you have to spend cleaning it. It's really up to you how clean you want to get it. I've even seen people kind of just sand these with sandpaper and just hit it with a quick spritz of spray paint. But uh, I don't really like the idea of painting it. So I just kind of set some time into just scraping it. And what you can do is use the side of the blade as well. And yes, I'm just allowing all the crud and such to just fall inside the aquarium. When I'm done scraping all this stuff, what I'm going to do is probably just use a wet vac and just suck it all out. But yeah, this is me just scraping away. Um, can somebody cue the Jeopardy theme song? Do, 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 do. All right, so we're ready for the next stage. Let's get ourselves some white vinegar. This is the magic sauce in cleaning fish aquariums. Vinegar. I would advise putting it in a spray bottle just because you can spray it wherever you want. And then what we want to do is put multiple coats on the mineral buildup. On a side note, what do you guys think of my cute little green spray bottle? Like, oh my God, it's so cute. Let's go clean a fish tank. All right, so back to the fish aquarium we are. What we want to do here is we want to spray the mineral buildup spots multiple coats. The, the best option here is to spray a coat, give it five to ten minutes, spray another coat, and continuously do that till like you're on your fourth coat. And when you go to scrape this stuff and clean it, it's going to come off that much easier. But if you accidentally let the substance the, let the vinegar dry in between coats you have to start from ground zero because once you once you allow that mineral buildup to dry again it's it's the same and even worse sometimes so be on your toes for keeping on the amount of coats you're doing it so what we're going to do now after four coats of vinegar sped out by uh, five minute intervals we're going to scrape it and look how easy this scrapes the thicker the mineral buildup is, the more coats you're going to want and the harder it is going to be to scrape. Another tip I will give you, if you can get your hands on brand new razor blades, get like 10 of them because you're going to be switching these things like every two minutes. You will forget to do it, but remind yourself because brand new razor blades are much better to use to clean because if you're using a dull razor blade and sitting there and fighting it, you're actually kind of like putting micro scratches into the glass and dulling it. So new brand new razor blades are much better than dull ones. Uh, that seems quite obvious, but uh, I would like to remind you. And also beware of running that razor blade into your silicone seam that it's very easy to do, but it's probably one of the dumbest things you could do in this instance, because chances are this silicone is old enough the way it is. This tank's old. Uh, and if you're kind of jabbing at it the silicone seams with a razor blade it's just bad news waiting to happen 
So here I am hitting this with a bristle brush now. Uh, I'm coming back with more spritz of vinegar. The more coats, the better, guys, with the vinegar. What you want to do is keep spraying, marinating that buildup, and just uh, keep spraying and spraying. It, it, it works, I'm telling you. Some people claim that there are some other products that work better than vinegar, but I'm afraid to use all these fancy new these products because vinegar has been in the industry for how long it's worked it actually does work pretty dang amazing and it's old school but it works so here's the tank i cleaned it up it took me about an hour or two i don't know i lost track of time it's kind of hard to keep your mind straight when doing simple stupid like things like this so what i tend to do is just uh envision the tank being done how beautiful it's going to look how crystal clear the water is going to be Ah, oh, man, I cut myself. This really sucks. Uh, it wasn't on the blade, though, because I think I hit it on the center brace. But, guys, this flat razor blade is a lifesaver when it comes to scraping. Without it, uh, you just you have to have it in this instance. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you thought of this guide on how to clean glass, old glass on your fish aquarium, how to clean water stains, how to clean mineral buildup. Vinegar is your best friend in cleaning your old fish aquarium glass and the water stains and all that nasty, nasty calcium mineral buildup. All right, guys, thanks for watching and please give this video a like for the love of fish keeping. Whoop!